Steam is a popular online platform where you can get a digital copy of your favorite PC games. Instead of going to a store to buy a physical copy of the game, you can just download it to your computer, which is quite convenient for most people. Although this is a stable platform, there are instances when certain issues can occur. There are several factors that can cause this particular problem, ranging an issue with the Steam client to interference coming from the firewall or antivirus software. In this latest video installment of our troubleshooting series, we will tackle the unable to initialize Steam API error issue. How to fix unable to initialize Steam API error. Before performing any of the recommended troubleshooting steps, it's best to restart your computer first. This action refreshes the operating system and remove any corrupt temporary data that could be causing the problems. First, add Steam in the firewall exception list. There's a chance that your firewall is blocking the Steam game from connecting to the internet, which is why this issue is happening. If this is what's causing the problem, you will need to add the game in the firewall exception list. To do this, first open the control panel by searching for this tool in the start button. Then, locate the Windows Firewall option. Next, at the left side panel, click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Firewall option. A list of apps should open. Then click on Change Settings. Then locate the game entry on the list and check the boxes next to both private and public networks. Then click OK to exit. Next, restart your computer. After computer completely reboots, check if the unable to initialize Steam API error issue still occurs. Next, don't use the beta version of Steam. Steam Beta usually has several new features not found in the stable version of Steam. It is also notorious for having several bugs, which is most likely what's causing this problem. To fix this, you should revert back to the stable version of Steam. Open the Steam PC client by double-clicking it on the desktop. Click on the Steam option at the menu at the top of the client screen and choose Settings. From the Account tab and click the Change button under the Beta Participation section, a new window should open so check again under Beta Participation and click to open the drop-down menu. Choose the note Opt out of all Beta Programs options. Click on OK to exit. Click the Steam option at the top left part of the Steam window and choose Exit in order to exit Steam completely. Use the Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape key combination by pressing the keys at the same time to open the Task Manager utility. Click on More Details at the bottom left part of the window in order to expand Task Manager and search for any Steam-related processes such as Steam.exe, Steam Client Bootstrapper, or GameOverlay.exe. Select them one by one and choose the End Task option from the lower right part of the window. Click yes to the message, which is going to be displayed, which should warn you about how ending various processes may affect your computer, so make sure you just confirm it. Then, exit Task Manager, reopen the Steam Client, and launch the game from the Library tab. Check if the unable to initialize Steam API error issue still occurs. Next, try running Steam as an administrator. There are times when a Steam client will need an elevated permission to run certain processes, which is why you will have to run this as an administrator. First, look for the Steam executable and open its properties by right-clicking its entry. Then, go to the Compatibility tab in the Properties window and check the box next to the Run This Program as an administrator option. Click on Apply to apply changes made and click on OK to exit properties sections. Confirm any dialogues, which may appear which should prompt you to confirm the choice with admin privileges and Steam should launch with admin privileges from now on. Open Steam by double-clicking its icon and try relaunching the games. Check if the unable to initialize Steam API error issue still occurs. Next, uninstall and then reinstall Steam. If the mentioned steps fails to fix the problem, then your last option is to uninstall then reinstall Steam. 
First, back up your games. Open your Steam PC client by double-clicking it on the desktop. Click the Steam button at the top right part of the window and choose Settings from the drop-down menu. Navigate to the Downloads tab in the Settings window and click on Steam Library Folders. Here, you should see the full list of all libraries you currently use and the folders you should look for when backing up. Since the default folder is C Program Files x86, Steam. Steam Steam apps go to the location above by clicking to open any folder or the file explorer and clicking this PC or my computer at the right pane. After that, open the location above and find the Steam apps folder. Right click the folder and choose the copy option from the context menu. Go to any location outside the Steam folder on your computer and paste the folder by right-clicking and choosing Paste. The best location would be your desktop. Lastly, uninstall Steam. First, click on the Start button. Then click on Settings, an icon that looks like a gear, to open Windows Settings section. Then at the Windows Settings section, click on Apps to open the Apps and Features section. Next, locate the Steam entry on the list and click on it once. Click on the Uninstall button above the list and confirm any dialog boxes, which may appear. Follow the instructions on screen in order to uninstall Steam. Next, restart your computer. Next, open the official Steam website, then download the Steam installer. Follow the instructions on how to install Steam. Check if the unable to initialize Steam API error issue still occurs. After following the methods mentioned, you have successfully fixed unable to initialize Steam API error. I hope that this guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell.